Hello and welcome to Newsday with Jeff A. Hearn. I'm your host, Jeff A. Hearn. Today's top story. Many are mocking the Biden administration's decision to use a $400,000 missile to shoot down what was most likely a $12 hobby balloon. But that's just how tough guy Joe Biden rolls. This man will have clear skies even if it means shooting down Party City's entire inventory. Come on, Joe, why use a missile when you probably could have just pulled it down using its own string? The only connection this balloon had to China is that it was probably made there. If you want to go after something with Chinese connections, Joe, how about you start with your entire family? The nefarious balloon is believed to be the property not of the CCP, but the NIBBB, the Northern Illinois Bottle Cap Balloon Brigade, a well-known terrorist organization masquerading as an Illinois-based hobbyist club. They told Aviation Week their Pico balloon went missing off the west coast of Alaska the same day a jet shot down an unidentified object matching its description. Pico? More like Pinko. Am I right, tough guy Joe? This was the third non-spy balloon destroyed by our Air Force, as the downing of school science projects continues at an unrelenting pace. Biden is such a balloon-popping frenziest, I'm surprised Goodyear hasn't canceled blimp flights. During a briefing with governors, a White House advisor said the objects shot down could be any number of things, including used car lot balloons, not to be confused with car lots inflatable balloon men, which Biden plans on taking out with conventional ground forces. And let's not forget, they had to fire two missiles at one of these balloons, because the first one missed. Those dealership balloons may say low miles, but apparently those miles were spent learning evasive maneuvers. Was that missile launch anywhere near the toxic train spill? I mean, that missile had to land somewhere, right? Is that why our media keeps burying that story? To protect our Don Quixote of a president who instead of fighting windmills is out fighting weather balloons. And if the Chinese really want to keep spying on us with a balloon, all they need to do is tell the Biden administration the balloon identifies as trans then the Biden administration will admire its bravery. And once it lands, demand it be allowed to compete in women's sports. Could you imagine the coverage of these events if Trump were still president? But all our liberal media seems interested in is filling Democrats' bad news up with helium and hoping it floats away, while bathing the rest of us in their perpetual hot air.